There. So my husband and I went to the Denver Center Performing Arts Complex on Sunday to see a revival of My Fair Lady, which was an original Broadway production. I think it was created in the early 1950s, but it was just astounding. And the actors' performances, the, uh, the singing, the dancing, the costumes, the set designs, Oh, it's just amazing. Not to, not you know, as well as the the uh, the orchestra as well. It's just so phenomenal to watch that kind of talent. And I always have an appreciation for people who do this because I've never been able to act very well in terms of uh, you know being able to memorize my lines and that kind of thing. Nor can I sing. I can't carry tune in a bucket. So <laughs> I really love other people's performances because I'm in awe of their talent and their abilities. And this was no different. It was just an astounding performance. But we got there early that day. So we uh, spent time sitting in the atrium area, which uh, is kind of a covered area uh, that um, is a, a walkway in between all the theaters and, of course, the, the, uh, the symphony um, clear at the very end. But it's just a really lovely complex. And so we were waiting uh, until the doors opened to the Buell Theater, which is where we were going to see the show. But while we were waiting, the show, the theater next to it, which is called the Ellie, it's the Ellie Calkins Opera House. And a lot of people were entering that because they were going to see the performance of the Nutcracker Suite. And most everybody that went there was so dressed up in their holiday finery. And a lot of families were there with grandparents and their children with their grandchildren, all dressed up in their holiday best to see the Nutcracker Suite. It was pretty sweet just to sit there and observe all these people just going to have a good time together. So when we finally were able to get into the uh, Buell, because they opened up their show was a little bit later, and we waited in the lobby for quite a while, and so uh, before they opened the theater doors, which are on the inside of the, you know, just on the inside of the lobby area, and so we were there, and we uh, had some time to chat with people that were in the food and beverage area, and we chatted with uh, some of the people who were the um, the ushers, which all are volunteers. The ushers are all volunteers, and um, we just witnessed a lot of people being kind, a lot of people being helpful. There were EMTs that showed up early with a gurney, and I'm assuming that they were there to uh, support someone who was in need. There were the police and the, and the firefighters that are always there. Uh, there were people at checking people's coats. There were people at the, the ticket counter. There were people in security when you first walk in the door. There's so many different people doing so many different things to make sure that this particular performance is always at its very best for everyone who is there to enjoy the time they spend in order to see these incredibly beautiful performances. And this day was no different than any other. But the thing that I noted most of all was the, the amazing kindnesses that people had. The kindnesses of the people in the food and beverage area, the kindnesses of, of a, a few exchange words that I had with some of the, um, some of the ushers who were kind and uh, just showing also kindness to other people. As we entered the theater, um, one, of the, uh, one of the ushers was helping an elderly woman in, uh, who, was helping, who was helped by her husband to get down the stairs so they could get to their seats carefully and easily. Uh, there were people that were helping the sight impaired because there were people there that were um, completely sight impaired and they had an area of where they were supported so they could hear the performance. And then on two sides, on both sides of the theater, they had an area where uh, set aside specifically for people who were hearing impaired. And on both sides, they had two different people signing um, the lyrics to the songs and also the dialogue, just talking back and forth to each other uh, by signing so that the people who were hearing impaired would know exactly what was being said in the dialogue and also in the songs. And then at the very front of the theater on both sides is an uh, area of closed captioning in red so that if you're needing to understand what the dialogue is saying and you can't quite keep up with it, you can just read that closed captioning area as at the closed captioning parts on both sides of the theater as well. So there's so much that goes on there to make sure all goes well. 
and we know a little bit about what happens. We're taking tours behind the scenes, you know, to kind of see what happens behind the scenes in the theater. And it's really astounding what they do to create it so it all works well. And you can see where the orchestra pit is, and it's just astounding. But again, what I noted most of all were the kindnesses. And how all the people who came, the audience members who came, everyone was in compliance, and everyone was cooperative, and everyone was just happy to be there, it seemed. And so it was a lovely day. And the thing is, as I noticed this kind of thing, just about everywhere we go, people are really going out of their way to be kind. They're going out of their way to be helpful, to lend a, a guiding hand, maybe a kind gesture, maybe even just a smile. And this is happening more and more, and I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm seeing it especially at great big venues or even at big churches where people are going out of their way to really extend themselves to people, to let them know that they matter, that they're glad that they're there. And so may you go out and extend yourself to people in your fine gestures, in your generous hearted ways, knowing full well just as you give you will receive the same thing and it feels so darn good to be kind to receive kindness, to extend that out in an easy way. There's nothing easier than lending a smile or, or a kind gesture or supporting someone when they're in need. Maybe even it's just something very simple, but it's so tremendously helpful. And it is a lasting thing. It's a transformative way of being. And that's what the holidays are all about, is uh, doing the best that we can to be of kindness, to be of support, to reach out to each other and it's not just for the holidays it's for every day of the year so this painting behind me is a brand new one that I've done and I had an idea about what I wanted to do with it but uh, that was going to be even more complicated than what I ended up creating here so <laughs> I ended up doing this and it ended up being extremely complicated looking as it is. So I, uh, it is all these different colors and there's different textures everywhere. There's, there's spirals and there's these pieces that go together with little red dots and there's, there's shapes and there's crisscrosses and you name it, it's there. <laughs> and again, I always have lots of little uh, gold dots through the whole thing that uh, represents energy. And this is created as a mandala, so you start with a design at the center and then you extend it outwards. And I was trying to make it in a way so it looks like it's an energy, you know, moving. And it was so complicated and I was like, I gotta do something else with this. And so I ended up making this spiral right here in the middle and then I, I shaded it so it almost looks like it's three dimensional. So it stands out in the midst of all of this stuff. So in a way, this kind of represents what I saw at the theater. You had all these different people doing all these different jobs among nearly 3,000 people that were there at the theater. It's a huge theater um, for this type of theater. It's, it's just, it's really large. And so there's nearly 3,000 people. I think there was probably a full capacity that day. And it was just really something to see. And all these different people coming together. There's there's the purple people and the green people and the red people and the checkerboard people and and the people with lines and the people that look like you know solid shapes and and the people that are, but it all works together it all works together you've got the actors you've got the behind the stage people you've got the the costume people the wig people the hair people the shoe people the music people you've got the food people you've got the security people you've got the police the the firefighters You've got all of the people that are there in their all different forms of different shapes and colors and sizes and ways of being. And it all worked beautifully. It all came together and worked beautifully. So that's it for today's message. <laughs> and just know that really when you step back and you take notice how amazing things work, how beautiful people are, how astounding things can be and you are a part of it as well so go out and be your magnificent self know how fine you are and may this holiday season as it's getting its momentum going be the best holiday season you've experienced yet and I'll see you before we get to the end of it but for now just know how much I love you just like grandma used to say 
Love you bunches. Bye for now.